My name's Richard Bainbridge and I'm chef owner of Benedict's in Norwich. Today I'm going to do a version of coleslaw. For me, this dish is all about the produce. You know, there's no meat to kind of steal away from the show. I just take in great produce that comes all from Fornage Hall, which is amazing from the red cabbage to the parsley to the carrot to the kurabi, all comes from this amazing farm. The story that goes behind the farm of it kind of being a place where people can find refuge and, and kind of give families a break from their, their children who have got mental disabilities, um, it gives them a sense of worth producing this amazing produce, which then is organic and biodynamic, which just makes it even better for me. They come into the restaurant, they'll deliver the produce, and you see their faces and how proud they are of this amazing product that for me, I want to do them proud um, as much as the vegetables. We take the red cabbage, we cut it into quarters, we pop it into a sous vide bag with some lard and we cook it at 88 degrees for three hours until it's just soft to touch but still got some body to it. Then we'll just take that out and we'll barbecue that on an indoor barbecue to get a nice kind of scorchy hot summer barbecue flavour into it. Then we have a kurabi salad where we take the kurabi, peel it down and we'll just put it through a Japanese slice the machine which you get this beautiful spaghetti that comes out the other side and all we do a little bit of lime juice some fresh raw savoy cabbage julienne and some onion seeds and um, just gets mixed through at the last minute and then we're just going to make a quick carrot gel which is made from carrot juice and we take 100 mils of the juice and we take one percent of agar to that and we just put the agar into the juice bring it up to the boil and when it's set hard we blend and just pop that into a piping bag Pipe that around the plate and we've also got some parsley water gel which is done in exactly the same way but you just blend parsley, 100 grams of parsley with 100 grams of water and you blend that, you pass it through a sieve so you get this beautiful bright green liquid and again it's 1% agar to that and that goes on the plate. So just to serve with it we're going to serve a warm brown butter sabion which is something that I like to take on the board of mayonnaise but I wanted something a bit more richer and a bit more depth to it. So what we do is we take 240 grams of white wine, we reduce that by three quarters and let cool to room temperature. Then we have some bermoisette which is just butter which has been just coloured to a nut brown colour and let to cool, that's 150 grams. And then we take 50 grams of fresh salted butter and just melt it. Combine the two together and then we add our warm, um, just warm white wine vinegar to there. And then what we do is we take one egg and three egg yolks and pop that into a blender and six grams of salt and 30 grams of lemon juice. We start to blend that into a blender. Then we have our brown butter mixture, which has got the white wine in, and we slowly start to incorporate that into our eggs. So essentially we are making a brown butter mayonnaise in, in many ways. But what we'll do once that's all incorporated in and it's all emulsified together, we just put into a gas siphon, charge it twice um, with CO2, keep it warm at around 60 degrees, so how we traditionally serve it in the restaurant is we serve the plate to the table and then the waiters will come along with the gas gun and just put in the brown butter sabi on at the table. And like I say, you bring it all together and it, it tastes amazing and it just tastes like coleslaw to me.